of 98. Stacy Lynn reports from Washington. Bob Dole loved this Capitol. President Biden joined congressional leaders in the Capitol Rotunda to pay tribute to Senator Bob Dole. It's hard to think of anyone who was more worthy to have a flag draped over his coffin because of his great patriotism to our country. Over the course of three decades, Dole served in both the House and Senate, earning a reputation as a dealmaker who prioritized principles over party. Bob never hesitated to work with Democrats to get things done. He overcame disabling war wounds he suffered while serving in World War II. His debilitating experience inspired him to push for the Americans with Disabilities Act and to champion other humanitarian issues. The real engine behind Bob's 98 remarkable years was his love. His love for Elizabeth and for Robin, for public service, for Kansas, and for America. President Biden, who served alongside Dole in the Senate, read from his final message to the country before challenging lawmakers to come together. I've always served my country best when I did it so first and foremost as an American. The truth of the matter is, as divided as we are, the only way forward for democracy is unity. Dole's funeral will take place Friday at the Washington National Cathedral, ahead of a final farewell service Saturday in his home state of Kansas. Stacy Lynn, CBS News, Washington. Coming up after the break, Jesse Smollett found guilty on five counts. More on the verdict and what the actor's chances are of an appeal. This is CBSN, CBS News. Always